All right, in this video, we're going to look at some examples of dividing fractions. And to divide a fraction, A over B divided by C over D, we turn it into a multiplication problem by uh, writing A over B times D over C. So we leave the first fraction alone, but instead of division, we use multiplication by the reciprocal. Okay, so the reciprocal of a fraction, you just take the fraction and you just flip it over. Okay, so the numerator becomes the denominator, and the denominator becomes the numerator. You don't change the sign or do anything else, just, uh, just flip the fraction. So, speaking of flipping fractions, let's find the uh, reciprocals of each of these numbers. Well, the first one's relatively straightforward. Uh, to find the reciprocal of 5 over 6, we just flip it, 6 over 5. But uh, to find the reciprocal of 3 and 1 fourths, we're first going to have to make this into uh, 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 just a single fraction, no mixed number. So three times, uh, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 will be 13. Uh, we'll leave the denominator alone, so that's just rewriting. But then if we take the reciprocal, now we'll just flip the fraction over. So 4 over 13 would be the reciprocal of the number 3 and 1 fourths. Likewise, uh, 6 over 5 would be the reciprocal of 5 over 6. So let's do a couple where we actually have to do the division. So let's divide 7 over 10 divided by 14 over 5. Well, I'm going to leave the first one alone. My division becomes multiplication. And now I'm just going to flip my fraction upside down. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Well, now we're back to just uh, multiplication problems. Well, uh, we could just multiply 7 times 5 and then 10 times 14, but I see that I can actually do a lot of simplification first by thinking about common factors. So if I look at 7 and 14, well, 7 goes into both of those numbers. 7 divided by 7 would leave me with a 1. 14 divided by 7 would leave me with 2. And then we can do the same thing with the 5 and the 10. 5 divided by 5 would be 1, and 10 uh, divided by 5 would leave us with 2. Okay, so what we're left with is 1 times 1 in the numerator, which is 1. Let's see, we canceled out our 10. 2 times 2 would be 4. So now we've done our division. It says if we take 7 tenths and divide it by 14 fifths, we'll be left with 1 fourth.